Hello and hey, thanks for coming to check this out. So today, this is for those of you who are just beginners with motion, just getting started. Um, this is a switch mask build. Um, my word for it is switch mask. I'm not exactly sure the exact correct way to explain it as far as motion goes, but in my mind it's a switch mask because there's a mask which is switching out the titles all in the same space. Um, so when I'm looking for the good looking After Effects titles to do the reproduction guides for, I see this element everywhere. It's in so many motion designers portfolio presentations, it's in the After Effects title packs, the Premiere Pro title packs, it's everywhere. But it's too small a thing to do a full reproduction thing for. Um, but I wanted to take the time and show anyone who's interested how you can do this in Motion 5. It's really quick and easy. So I'll jump into this other project that's waiting for us and we'll start with just some text in this group. The font size is 200. The font I'm using is Gotham. Um, Avena Bold is good font. Any chunky font I think is good for this. The text is aligned to the center of the canvas and so the first thing we want to do is give it a, give it a mask. So I'm going to grab this rectangle and I'm dragging the rectangle out over the titles there and I'll select the titles, choose add image mask and drop the rectangle there as our source. Our blend mode is set to add. So if I grab our mask source and move it, it's going to hide the titles. If I move it back, it's going to reveal. So to do the switch mask, I'm going to grab the titles, the text element there, and duplicate it. So now we have a duplicate mask that is using the same source as the original mask. So we've got two, min two image masks sharing the same source. So I'll come into this second text here. Uh, in the inspector, I'll select that second text, the duplicate text. I'll come into the inspector and change the word to something else, or from motion to switch. And you can see that both text elements are keeping the same space here, and we can see them both. But if I come and grab this one and grab the image mask and change the blend mode from add to subtract, well now it's hiding the text. So if I grab the mask source that they're both sharing, this mask is sharing the same source as this mask, this mask is revealing the text, and this mask is hiding the text. So if I move the mask source it's going to reveal one and hide the other one and then when I come back it'll do the same thing. So that's our switch mask set up. So now we want to animate. So usually there's a, a line detail, a line flourish, or a line element, so let's add that. Grab my line tool and draw a line into the canvas around here. Um, I'll just come into the geometry and even that up. I'll give it 100 minus 100. I'll come into the style panel and change the color and give it some thickness. Give it a width of maybe 30. Right, so we are going to animate the line and we want the mask source to follow the line wherever it goes. There's a couple of choices we've got. We can use the align to behavior, um, but I'm not going to go for that option. I'm going to use the link parameter behavior. So I've got the rectangle selected. We're coming to properties, come to the exposition, drop down the menu here and choose add parameter behavior link and I'll drop the line and there is the source. And it's not quite where we want it to be so I'll come down here to the X offset and drag that down. So now when we move our line the mask source will follow and that's creating that effect that we want. 
So let's start animating. The first thing we want though is in the beginning we don't want to see this word we want to have this word revealed later so I'm going to bring my playhead forward to 15 frames and select this text here I'll just rename it so we can see what it is I've got it selected I'll hit I on my keyboard to trim it there so now it's not there in the beginning so I'll grab the line element and I'll set a keyframe uh, with the playhead at the start. I'll set a keyframe for the X position and then bring my playhead forward 15 frames and drag the line over the other way. So now we have this effect which is what we want and I want the line to stay still for five frames and then come back so I'll just move the playhead forward five frames to the 20th frame grab the line add another keyframe and then bring the playhead forward another 15 frames so to one second and five frames and I'm going to drag drag it back So now we have this effect, and now I'm going to have the line sit again another 5 frames, so bring it forward to 1 second and 10 frames, and grab the line, add another keyframe to the X position. So this time when the mask shifts back again, it's going to hide this word switch but we want it to reveal another word so I'm going to grab the original text element I'm going to select it and hit O on the keyboard to trim it to finish at 1 second and 10 frames now I'm going to go command D to duplicate it and on my keyboard with the duplicate selected I'm going to hold down shift and left bracket at the same time to move the endpoint of this copy forward to one second ten frames so now this guy begins where this guy uh, finishes and we can come down and change the word to something else Let's animate the line over the other way again. So I've got the line selected and over 15 frames I want it to move back to the other side so I'll come to 1 second and 25 frames and move it over to right here. Okay. So the last thing we want is for the line to come back and erase everything. That's really easy to do. Um, we're just going to have it sit still again for another five frames. So I'll bring the playhead forward to one second, uh, two seconds, and hit another keyframe. Set another keyframe there. Um, but when the line comes back, this title is still there and it would be revealed so we need to make sure that it doesn't reveal again so with it selected I'm just going to hit O on the keyboard and now it, it will be gone actually yep that's right there's not enough I thought I forgot a step but I didn't right then so I'll grab the line come forward to 2 seconds and 15 frames and bring the line back and there we are so from here there's so many things that you can do well first of all um, we can come down and play with these curves to make the motion of the line a lot smoother that's 
the next thing that I would do, um, if we come back to what I had going on before, um, we can usually, uh, when I see this element, the, I'll just turn that one off and turn this one on, the line is usually animated in the beginning to animate in something like that before all the action happens. So that's something else that you can do. And of course this build works for the mask to go up and down instead of um, horizontally. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, let's turn this one on. So it works well the other way. And I think there's so many use cases for this. Um, one example is, uh, where is it? All right, um, okay, so something like this where two pieces of information are relevant to the same topic. something like that. So there you go, that is a switch mask build. If you're just getting into motion, uh, learning how to do titles, I hope that's useful for you. And thanks again for watching.